Only a few days ago, I started preparing for another Camino and I had to buy a knife that fits into those three categories. It shouldn't be expensive because I have already many things to buy, from shoes, backpack to flight tickets on my Camino. It shouldn't be dangerous for me and for others, and it shouldn't be illegal, as the last thing I really want is the police hassling me on my Camino, and other pilgrims think that I'm some kind of John Rambo or something. My good friend John Rambo. It has to be small and very that I prepare for any situations, easy to pack, easy to travel with, and this is sometimes difficult to find. So I made the list of my three Camino knives, which will help me to open, chop, slice and cut all these products here. Uh, but before that, let me tell you which of the knives I do not recommend and why. Bread knife. Let's make it clear, you don't need to make a campfires on the Camino de Santiago or showcase any of your bush craft skills. You don't have to fight for survival, you need to hunt for your food, you need to fight any grizzlies or villains. You will need a knife on Camino de Santiago for other reasons, convenient reasons. And one of these most obvious reasons is obviously of cutting the fresh bread on your picnics, cutting the chorizos, opening the packages. The bread knife works great in your home environment. You can prepare the sandwiches, cut the bread, you can do whatever you want with the bread knife, but it's absolutely useless for the Camino. First of all, it is too big. According to Spanish regulation, the permitted length of the blade cannot exceed 11 centimeters, making this knife illegal to carry with you around. Second thing is not really versatile as it's designed to do only one thing. And the third, how would you actually travel it? Like rather like a ninja. For that reason, this is actually no go option. The same reason stops me from taking this knife, the kitchen chef knife onto the Camino. This is my favorite knife at home. I do it everything with that. Although it's a bigger in the size, I can chop, slice, peel, pretty much I can do anything with this knife and it works wonders in my kitchen. If I use it at home, it might not serve the purpose for something as specific as Camino de Santiago that's illegal of the size and it's simply difficult to travel with. Imagine the reputation you might have on the Camino when you take this knife out of your backpack. Oh, Gordon Ramsay. Or John Rambo. And the third knife that all of the day love, I wouldn't take with me on the Camino de Santiago. It's all in one multifunctional Swiss Army knife, other words called MacGyver's knife. I have to admit that when I was small, everyone was into Batman, Superman, and the other superhero. For me, the superhero was MacGyver, Richard Dean Anderson, and his knife. So I got this knife when I was small and I use it for absolutely anything. But why I wouldn't take it on the Camino? It's like going for shopping uh, in a Ferrari. You can do everything with this knife. You can bring the helicopter, you can make a, even atomic bomb according to MacGyver, but it's too capable for the Camino de Santiago. This capability comes actually with a weight. It's pretty heavy thing and as we know in Camino de Santiago every ounce, every gram counts. For more useful hacks on Camino de Santiago join our mailing list. We don't spam people, we don't waste people time, we only send really interesting and important information that can make your journey a life-changing experience. Check the link in the description and subscribe. So, setting aside all the things that we don't want, let's go to practical three knives that I would consider taking with me on the Camino. And this is the first one. Arguably the most pocket-friendly knife that you will find in your kitchen, because the main thing is not to spend lots of money. This is the kitchen, small kitchen knife that you peel all your veggies, fruits, you can cut your parsley, you can cut your chives, and you can use it pretty much for everything. This is the 4x4 four four of your kitchen. And its blade is less than 11 centimeters long. It fits perfectly in the hand, it's easy to travel with. However, it's worth noticing that if you're traveling on the train in Spain, the pocket knife's blade cannot exceed 6 centimeters. 
It proves invaluable in many situations in cutting things in the alberga, preparing food with your fellow pilgrims as well as tightening any screws maybe in your hiking poles that might be loose. While this knife fits the bill and it's small, portable and is not expensive and it can be versatile, that's not my choice. Okay, it doesn't cover the protection that allows you easily traveling with this knife. So it wouldn't be a safety option if you put it into the backpack and every time you have to take it out, you can cut yourself, you can, you can puncture your backpack or many other things that you have inside. Safety-wise, it's not the best thing. Another compelling choice of knife, it's a pocket knife. And this in particular, really popular in that regions as it's made in France. And because France is France. It's size adheres to regulations less than 11 centimeters and you can find it in few different sizes. This blade actually has less than six. Notably, it operates manually. And that's because automatic assisted opening knives, which normally have a button just to open it like schluck they are forbidden in spain so they all have to be manually operated i like how compact it is and how easy to store and easy to carry absolutely everywhere it doesn't compromise on durability as it's made out of stainless steel I love this wooden handle which helps me to maintain the grip and easily use it cutting, peeling, slicing or even in the making a um, walking stick. It is an affordable option because those little knives can cost from 10 to 15 euros in Spain or France. A notable feature that it has, it is actually a safety lock which helps you not only when the knife is fully open and if you lock it, it won't close, helping you to cut anything or even to make a hiking stick on your own. But also when it's closed, when you turn the lock, it won't open in your pocket just accidentally. It shouldn't, but it has its special protection on. However, that's not my favorite knife because in the context of Camino de Santiago, it's not versatile enough. And before we get to the number one choice, the my choice of the best knife for Camino de Santiago, let us understand more in details things about regulation and prohibition in Spanish law about knives. The knives can only be carried by adults. The blade length must not exceed 11 centimeters, and on the Spanish trays, it's further restricted to 6 centimeters. All types of knife must be in the checked-in luggage when flying in international flights and even domestic flights in France or Spain or even United States. Knives must be opened manually. That means that any other option which is automatically open is strictly forbidden. As well as the double side blade is also forbidden in Spain. Have it in mind. I find it the most practical to purchase your knife once you're on the first stages of Camino de Santiago. First of all, you're gonna support a local community of local craftsmen and the local businesses. And the second thing, you skip all the hassle of worrying about, is this the good correct size? If it's not, can I travel with that? What the police will say in the airport and any other possible issue. So we do not promote buying knives for the sake of having knives we're promoting the knives as the tool to making the correct usage of these knives in your Camino de Santiago. Decision is yours. And this is my winner, a small pocket Swiss army knife. And the reason I've chosen this knife is because of this. Yep, wire opener. Anything that I take on the Camino de Santiago has to be versatile. From my pants that I wear that can serve them two different purposes to the belt that actually yoga belt that allows me to stretch better whenever I get to the albergue. Probably all the items that I have in my backpack can be used at least on two, three different ways and situations. And the knife has to be exactly the same. The quality of the knife 
and the blade incomparable with the last knife that we saw but this particular knife saved many pilgrims dinners many picnics and many situations when this little feature was important and as we know the spain is known for the food and is known by its wine and the best wine is cork sealed that means that without this opening the wine it's simply impossible and it actually falls into all the three categories first of all is cheap this one i got actually for free because it was a piece of merchandising but those little army knives are really not expensive deal it's safe because it's not sharp you can sharpen your knives according to your abilities and your needs in a few different places it's small foldable it fits in any pocket in any backpack and also it has a little ring that you can attach with a little rope that you can cut with this little knife and attach it to your backpack you'll never lose it and the most important it's versatility there's not only knife but a cork screw a part of knife there are other important accessories that without which your Camino de Santiago will be a disaster check this video here 